Welcome to this session. Today we are going to review how to deploy the Azure DevOps pipelines to deploy the Cloud Adoption Framework landing zones on Terraform. This is a new feature introduced in January 2021 uh, amongst many uh, others available on the repository. So we're going to go to the landing zone starter repository, which you can clone directly and use in your uh, GitHub. We're going to see that we have all the different environment and we introduce in the Sunpit the possibility to deploy it with the pipeline. Of course, the same experience is available locally from your rover. That's one of the foundations of uh, CAF landing zone. But here we're going to see that uh, we're going to deploy that into our environment into uh, one subscription. But of course, the same thing is available for multi subscription models as well. So one of the first step is to introduce uh, inside our previously created uh, Contoso demo here, Azure DevOps environment, and I'm going to import the GitHub repo. So this is one of the very classic operations we do first, getting the repo locally so I can have my private variation, make it evolve at my speed, at my speed at the speed of my organization. So if we go there, we see that uh, the next uh, the next step would be to uh, deploy the DevOps launchpad and the initial DevOps agent. So this is the first step that we need to do manually and it will be part of the seeding of the environment. So if we go there, we're going to uh, clone the repo from my DevOps inside my, uh, my uh, Visual Studio code environment and we're going to go through the three steps. But let's start with the first one, deploying the DevOps environment. And here it's about deploying actually those steps to uh, DevOps, uh, the DevOps agent, the launchpad uh, security element inside Keyvol, the Terraform state, and then the pipelines and agents for DevOps. So first thing first, we're going to specify that we are running the Sunpit environment. We are going to apply the launchpad uh, configuration and the launchpad configuration will set up everything in my Azure subscription, all the MSI model, everything to, uh, to go with my security model. So here you see that we are uh, basically deploying everything. Uh, I fast forward a little bit and I pre-deploy the, the launchpad for this demo. But uh, here, essentially, we have everything ready, the key vault and the storage account for my different levels. The next step would be to create my DevOps configuration. And for that, we'll be using the Azure DevOps agent. But first, there's a dependency. We need to specify the path token to connect to my DevOps agent. So here, I'm going to create one admin uh, token based on my environment and it has full access. I copy it and we don't want to store it anywhere in the code, obviously. So we create it inside Key Vault. And I'm going to do the same with the path uh, token for agent management. So this is a less uh, privileged uh, token, which will allow me to manage my uh, agent pools for DevOps. So here I just do create. And I'll be doing the same thing, copying that into Key Vault, because of course, I don't want to store any secret into the code. Now that I have that, I just need to customize uh, my service endpoint to register my subscription uh, with DevOps. So this is a very easy environment. You can see the configuration. Everything is based on a, a value. So nothing is hard coded, the repo and the name of my Key Vault. And here I will just add my uh, subscription ID to that and then everything would be authorized by the uh, MSI. I can review the configuration and if I scroll down you see that this is the section here dedicated to uh, the pipeline setup. So here we'll have the different levels that are going to be uh, spun up by the environment. Here's the configuration for the identity and the permission and the roles that we define to uh, deploy the least privilege model. So once we have done these prerequisites, let's just uh, deploy the configuration. So it's going to deploy now elements inside my Azure DevOps and outside of my repo that I had previously, I now have my pipelines with my configuration, with my different uh, full pipeline end to end or level by level. And the library of variable has been configured automatically for me as well. Here I have my global parameters to specify which version of the rover and landing zone I'm, uh, I'm running here. So this is all customizable and used with uh, variables. And also I have my variables to key vault uh, storage, which is created automatically for me. And the next step is the agent pools that are going to be the guys running my Terraform code. So there will be those agents and those will be the agents authenticated as MSI and running my Terraform code against my subscription. Uh, 
So this is uh, one of the fundamental of the uh, Cloud Adoption Framework Landing Zones for Terraform security model is to use those DevOps agents which are inside my uh, my uh, virtual network and they are connected to Azure uh, uh, directly and they won't be using um, uh, public internet to, to deploy the environment and to deploy the landing zone. So here you see that I'm deploying my agent for level zero and this is my VM, which is using uh, MSI, Manager Identity. And if I go there in the VM settings, uh, you will see that I'm using the uh, extension for Azure DevOps. And after a couple of minutes, it's online. So once it's online, it means that I, um, I have not done all the steps locally. I've done the seeding. So I'm able to now continue the operation inside my Azure DevOps console. So I'll be lazy here and I just go to the end to end apply. I'll specify the right branch I want to use uh, for this specific uh, repository. Uh, I have my uh, variable, which is just here an action being apply and I could choose the stages I want to run, but here it's a first full run. So I want to run everything. So you see, I will run my agent one being deployed. And here, if we look at the pipeline run, we see it's the same exact experience as I have uh, locally. And this is one of the fundamental aspects of uh, CAF Landing Zone as well, is the continuity of experiences between my local DevOps machine, my quick, uh, my fast feedback loop, and my pipelines. Same experience, same variables. And here you see, I'm continuing the process. If one stage uh, uh, fail, I can rerun the failed uh, stage. And with Terraform, I will recover on the error and I will continue to the next step of the, of the pipeline. So here I've deployed the uh, up to level three, I deployed my AKS uh, cluster. And if we go to the details, I have my agents that are working on level zero and on level three to deploy. Uh, here, for instance, I'm deploying my AKS cluster. So now if I go to my AKS, uh, so my subscription, I go my uh, AKS cluster is ready. It's being deployed uh, through the pipeline and same thing. I can see the same exact out output as if I were running the code locally on my machine. So this is really the, the, the fundamentals of the pipeline. Now comes your job where you are customizing it to fit your organization, adding, uh, for instance, uh, environment, the approval and check, adding some people to approve the pipeline, etc. So that's it. This is how we do the fundamentals for you. And then you can do all the tuning process for your organization. Thanks for watching and don't hesitate to reach out to us.